the coach, you guys had five guys scoring double figures. Do you think without Marcus, your players were more conscious of spreading the ball around? Uh, you know, we uh, our offensive balance was a, key, a big key to us winning the game. And, you know, I think one of the things that, uh, that may happen when you have three guys and Andrew and Marcus and Sam who are capable of having such big offensive games that guys don't look for their own stuff. And uh, we, we ask the guys to be aggressive and to be players and take what the defense gives you. I think, um, I think our team did that. I thought we shared the ball incredibly well. 22 assists to 12 turnovers uh, was really positive. And a big part of that's Andrew. In the last uh, two games, he's got 16 assists and three turnovers. And I know you guys have heard me say it before, but our team's at our best when he is being a distributor first uh, and a scorer second. So um, he's, he's been really good at that. And good games from all three of the freshmen. Uh, have they improved enough that you're, you're comfortable with them out on the floor at the same time? Yeah, uh, I mean, Greg played 28 minutes, Jamal played 23, and Theo played 11. And uh, that's not only just because it's out of necessity, it's because I have confidence in them. And those kids have made great uh, strides as players since the beginning of the year. And I have confidence in them. They, they are far from where they're going to be, uh, but they're much further along than where they were. And the three of them, all three of them, had a significant impact on this game. Sakar really attacked the basket a lot tonight. I know Jamal shouted that out before you came in. What do you think has led to that mindset with him where he's attacking more uh, now than ever before? Well, I think Sakar, again, you know, really Sakar is a freshman too. I mean, we're not talking about a guy who played much uh, the year that he didn't redshirt here. And so he, as the season has gone on, he's gotten more comfortable and he's uh, being, being more aggressive. Uh, it's not just tonight, but in the last, I think the last six or seven games, uh, he's averaged double figures for us. So this is not just the last two game. Now he hasn't scored 26 like he did at Creighton, but Scar's a good player. And I think he's gaining more confidence by the day and, uh, and has really stepped up for us in a number of ways. And then stopping Shamori Ponson, and obviously he still had a pretty good game, but he didn't take over like he did the first time. Do you think the zone was the key to kind of throwing him off at the start? Like, what do you think led to him having uh, less points in the box? Well, anytime you play a great player, it's a collective effort. Um, whether we were in man or zone, I thought our team was really locked into the game plan and trying to make life a lot more difficult for him uh, than we did the first time around. And I thought our guys took great pride in it. And he may have had an off game. Uh, but I thought our guys competed and had a great awareness for where he was on the offensive end. And then also, Greg, you said yesterday how he didn't need to replace Marcus, but he I mean, pretty much did anyways, really stepping up kind of. Um, what did you see from him that really worked out well? Well, a lot of things. I mean, I thought he played a terrific overall game. Um, you know, I don't think there's any area of the game that he didn't impact defensively, offensively, whether it was scoring, whether it was distributing, rebounding. Uh, he had his fingerprints on the complete game. And Greg's capable of doing that. And, I'm, and uh, he's really stepped up. Look, I mean, obviously, you know, Marcus is a heck of a player. You know, he's, and like I said yesterday, we're not asking anybody to replace him. Uh, but we need other guys to step up. And the good thing is other guys have. Yeah, we're, we're just focused on one play at a time and one day at a time. And, you know, we're, we're trying to get better as a group. And I think we're accomplishing that. And we need to continue to keep our focus there. We can't approach the world like everybody else does it. We need to continue to get better and figure out ways how we do that. I think we are, which is unusual for February. Uh, and we need to continue that trend. We good? Thank you. Go ahead. No update on Marcus. You know, I, again, his health is our primary concern, and I'll follow the direction of the doctors and trainers. Um, I don't know when he'll be back. So that's all I got.